with Alex Miranda. Last night we talked about Roseanne Barr's tweets, which ended up with her sitcom being canceled right. 24 hours later, and we have even more tweets to talk about. Yeah, so many that I'm actually going to narrow them down to just three. And just to recap, Roseanne tweeted an offensive statement towards a former Obama advisor, and that led to the ABC uh, network axing her television show. The comedian tweeted this afternoon, I'm not a racist, I never was, and I never will be. One stupid joke in a lifetime of fighting for civil rights for all minorities against networks, studios, at the expense of my nervous system, family, wealth, will never be taken from me. Then she asked her followers to help her get more followers, adding, the more I have, the more my words will have weight. I'm a fighter for fairness in all aspects of US life. I'm tired of being smeared over a stupid mistake erasing 30 years of activism. Then she seemed to point the finger at the sedative Ambien for that racist tweet. She responded to a critic on Twitter, yes, I have had odd Ambien experiences on tweeting late at night like many other people do. I blame myself, okay? It's just an explanation, not an excuse. Okay, bully? Well, the makers of Ambien say that the sleeping pill, like most drugs, has side effects, but racism is not one of those side effects. And while the company is sticking up for its brand, Nightside Sarah Rosario found this is not the first time the drug has been mentioned in cases of reckless behavior. As far as Ambien being involved in criminal investigations, well, we found several instances. This former sheriff in Tennessee, he's accused of assaulting his wife after taking an Ambien and then chasing it with beer. He was later sentenced to four years in prison on other charges. And then there's this convicted nursing home killer, Robert Stewart. He was charged with eight counts of second degree murder after a shooting rampage in North Carolina, where high levels of several drugs, including Ambien, were in his system. And last year, a jury indicted 20-year-old Jack Young. The truck driver is accused of being on Ambien and other drugs during a crash killing 13 people on a church bus on their way home from a retreat. In most criminal cases involving Ambien, the suspects each say that they don't remember committing the crime. Meanwhile, the drug maker clearly listed side effects in its commercials. Sleepwalking and eating or driving while not fully awake with memory loss for the event, as well as abnormal behaviors such as being more outgoing or aggressive than normal, confusion, agitation, and hallucinations may occur. Roseanne Barr says she was on Ambien when she started tweeting, and while her actions aren't criminal, some would argue that her behavior was abnormal or aggressive, while others would say her comments reflect exactly who she really is, with or without a sleeping pill. In any case, the drug maker says if you experience any of those side effects, stop taking the drug immediately and contact your doctor. Sarah Rosario, 10 News. Katie and Alex, you were on Facebook Live tonight talking about this drug. What did you hear? Yeah, well, we asked yeah, a lot. <laughs> what I mean, did we, heard we a lot. hear, right? Yeah, we asked about your strangest ambient experiences, and you had some really fascinating yeah, answers. Yeah, from sleepwalking to eating to spending money online, and a lot of money. You right. had a variety of ambient activities, and in every single case you said, you did not remember any of it, not a one. Sherry says, I have so many Ambien stories and have spent thousands of dollars on eBay without knowing and not returnable and sent crazy texts and Facebook posts. Penny, you say, I have said things on Ambien that I regret and now part of my family does not talk to me. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, it's really sad. She says, I promise with all my heart, I just have no idea what I said. Mm. It is possible. Wow. And Jill, you say you've also done some communicating while on Ambien. You say, I have taken Ambien for years. I have texted friends, made phone calls, and done all kinds of things I do not remember the next day. I've had to give a few apologies over the years. And then Katie says, I used to have food parties and wake up the next morning with chips and stuff in my bed and do not remember it. Yeah, wild, right? And a wild. variety of things. Yeah. So far, by the way, you have made 693 comments yeah. about this one topic. So does that tell you something? The most frequent ambient occurrence, eating and mm -hmm. preparing entire yeah, meals. We'll yep. Yeah, while I can't on remember ambient. it. And goodness. then not recalling any of it. Can you believe that? And then your strangest one, driving to a store and making a purchase, then driving home with no memory of yeah. the event. Well, the yeah. driving is especially scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. terrifying.